This is a bottle made from a plastic called PET, polyethylene terephthalate, an incredibly sophisticated material that has many uses after you've used it as a bottle. It's far too valuable to be thrown in a bin. Recycling it means it can be effectively turned into many new products, dramatically reducing waste. This meticulous process starts with collection. Every year, billions of bottles are collected, compressed into huge bales, and transported to recycling plants. These bales are fed in here. They're broken apart, and then any metal waste is removed. Other types of plastic are removed before the remaining PET is color sorted by hand. Each color is separated into its color stream and then crushed into small flakes. The flakes still contain ground up lids, rings and labels. They're all separated from the PET in the washing process. Washing also removes contaminants like glue, leaving behind clean, pure PET flakes. The flakes are dried, extruded and cooled, and chopped into short pieces. What remains are gem-like pellets. These are now ready to be made into fiber to be used in the production of new products. 1,000 kilogram bags are filled with the pellets, make it easy and efficient to transport to many manufacturers. One kind of manufacturer is a polyester fiber producing factory. Here, the pellets are poured into this day hopper. Dropped down into a heater that dries them out completely and extruded by forcing them into tiny spinnerets. Each spinneret pushes out up to 1,500 individual filaments, which are then cooled and combined into a single rope called a tow, made up of 24,000 individual polyester fibers. 32 of these toes are then lubricated in preparation for a heating and stretching process that makes them 10 times longer. Ultimately, to make the polyester feel more organic, the fiber is crimped with this machine resulting in a fluffy fiber with a luxurious texture. The crimped fibers are cut into the various lengths that the industry needs. They're compressed into 300 kilogram bales to make it easy to transport to a long value chain of multiple producers. At a polyester processing factory, the bales are broken up and the fiber separated. When it's ready to be processed, it looks like this. It gets combed into puffy, cloud-like fibers. This cloud of fibers is sewn into a single sheet of thousands of polyester threads. The result is a roll of recycled PET material ready for use in manufacture. It can be dyed in any color and used in the production of many new products like shopping bags, fleece clothing, combined with other polyester into stuffing for sleeping bags, duvets and pillows, used as roof insulation and geotextiles for uses like lining the Gautrain tunnels and produce car parts, seat belts and carpets for the automotive industry. After rigorous testing that ensures the quality of the recycled PET pellets is 100% safe, they're also turned back into bottles. The process starts with this sophisticated machine. It dries, then melts, and then turns the pellets into what the industry calls preforms. Injection molding forms the molten recycled PET into the desired shape. Robotics cool and pace the production so each preform comes out perfectly. They're small, easy to transport and ready to be made into new bottles. To make the actual bottles we need this machine. Inside it heats the preforms and then blows them into the correct size. The bottles are cooled and packaged ready for distribution. This closes the loop. It's true bottle to bottle recycling. No wastage, nothing sent to landfill no unnecessary drain on new resources, efficiency and usefulness at its best. It's no wonder South Africa is amongst some of the world's top PET recycling countries. So don't throw used soft drink or water bottles in the bin. Recycle them. Plastic bottles are not trash. <laughs>